Hey folks, Valentin the Mad here, and this is the destruction part of the upcoming game's format. First up is the finals. It is a first person shooter game and from what it seems, everything will be destructible. The trailer we have so far looks really promising and from what I heard about the closed alpha, it is a fair representation of what's actually there. Now, what I am perhaps most impressed by is the physics synchronization. So my personal view is, in a multiplayer game, it is perfectly fine to have building and object destruction be based on a variation system. For what I seen here, it is physics based and it is synchronized between the players. Something similar to this bit was a scripted scene in the Battlefield 4 campaign and now be able to have it dynamically in a multiplayer game. I am massively impressed. Next up is Company of Heroes 3. Now the first game is an absolute classic and it's an amazingly responsive experience. The third one generally goes in the same vein. Most of what you see is responsive, you will be able to completely transform locations and leave them in a state of mess. However, in the latest playtest I have seen a bunch of issues in various aspects, but to be fair, we will analyze those after the full release. Next up is Headquarters World War II. It is a turn-based game where you will be commanding infantry, armored vehicles, emplacements with the proper consequences of the battle. Destructible buildings, craters, armor simulation, and destroyed vehicles staying and providing cover were mentioned. Personally, I absolutely love turn-based combat and the setting of the Western Front, so very much looking forward to playing this one. On the racing side, we have a yet to be titled game by Studio Tatsu. Currently in a gameplay prototyping phase, we already have really cool deformation and damage mechanics, and apparently those can be applied to nearly any vehicle asset in Unity. With that being said, it will be used in a full game, not in a tech demo or an asset, so I'm very much looking forward to trying it out. Whether in a racing or in a rally game, the consequences of crashes with that system should be very very satisfying. I think it will be fair to mention Battlebit Remastered. I played a few hours of the playtest and in my impression, it is a blocky, very much Battlefield inspired game with notably more responsive environments. Not fully responsive though, there are a whole bunch of limitations, unbreakable walls, I haven't seen buildings come down or much terrain damage. However, if you don't mind the blocky stuff, it does deliver a very solid gameplay experience in the vein of Battlefield and as I mentioned, notably more responsive. And lastly, I want to mention Man of War 2. From what I can see, it's gonna be mostly the same as Assault Squad 2, so variations based building damage, terrain damage and responsive vegetation. It was quite good there, and if they can smoothen out some of the rough edges, it will still be a very nicely responsive experience. So, hope you enjoyed this video, hope you found some game to follow, do let me know what you think in the comment section, and subscribe for more sponsor-related content coming your way soon. Until next time!